Hi, hi, I'm Rina, Zoshi Des, and welcome back to Bedroom Coma. I haven't played this game in ages, and I've actually really missed this game. Um, so, you know, we've had some good times playing these chapters, so I figured we'd go back to it. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this, why my hair is so puffy. Um, well, over the weekend, I went to see Game Grumps and Jack Jacksepticeye live. Um, and if you can see there, there's a poster, it's called Ready Player 3, and they, um, they did a live show in London, and um, yeah, obviously I don't live in London anymore, so I had to spend like seven hours coaching my way there, and coaching my way back, and it was hell, but it was amazing, it was such a good show. Um, well, for those of you that know Ninja Sex Party, this uh, uh, robe is an ode to Ninja, Ninja Sex Party. My puffy hair is an ode to Danny, because you know, us curly folk gotta stick together, um, so we're on chapter four now. Chapter four of Bad Dream Coma, and I believe this is the forest. Um, so let's see, what have we got in our inventory? We've got still got a magnifying glass, matches, glove, the teddy bear head, which I believe we had to find uh, his body, and an empty jar. I often forget how this game works, so let me just see if I can remember the, the um, whoa, that is loud. Okay. Uh, what do the. What did I press? What did I press? I don't know what I pressed. Shit. Oh, I don't even have the neutral ending anymore. I can only have the bad ending. I can't have the good ending because of those four. I can't have the neutral ending because of those two. And I can only have the bad ending because of. Specifically because of that? Mm. Okay. Now these glowy, glowy mushrooms, which uh, I am quite curious about. So, oh. Oh, if I click on them, it's pretty gross. Alright, how do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of the thing? I can't remember any of the buttons. Can I set the forest on fire? Can I start a forest fire? With the matches. There's literally nothing to do here. Can I capture fireflies with the empty jar? Well, well, well. Looks like we found the wicked witch's house. Except it's not made from sweets. Ooh, bear trap. Ooh, bear trap. Ooh, bear trap. You need to be careful of that. We need to be careful. So we can do something with the door. We can do something with the trap. Still on the volume down a teeny tiny bit. A little bit loud. Just a teeny tiny bit. Alright, so we can do something with the door, we can do something with the trap. Let's carry- Oh no! It's the dog from the very, very first ever episode that we did. Okay. So we're gonna need to get past the dog. And I have no clue how I'm gonna do that. There was literally nothing I can do. Oh, I picked something up. What did I pick up? Key! Key! Picked up a key! Can I go in? Yes! I'm going to the house! Woo! When you don't know what to do, just fucking... Spam the button. Just spam the button, that's what I do. Let's see. Ooh! Nice big lump of tasty meat on the table. Uh, this is so obviously a witch's house. There's brooms. There's potion making. There's a giant cauldron in the middle of the fireplace. There's a skull on the shelf. Either that or this is my mate's house. <laughs> I know someone who'd probably live in a house like this if they could. Set the fire. Ooh! I lit the fire! Um, take the meat. I like how uh, the matches are a thing that I can just keep using over and over again. Alright. Put the meat in the bear trap. Hey, stupid dog. There's a bear trap here. Ugh. That actually made me feel like there was something in my ear. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Whoa! I think I know what that is. Um, as much as I love dogs, and I never, ever, ever want to hurt dogs, that was not a nice dog. Ow. Oh! I got the achievement thing for that. 
be fair, I'm getting nothing but the bad ending now. So I may as well be one hard motherfucker. One bad motherfucker. Okay, um... Alright, so now that the dog's out of the way, we have three new directions we can go in. I don't like that. Can I set on fire? Um, I don't want to go anywhere near that. Alright, let's go the other quickly. Whoa, hey! <clears throat> I need a voice. Um, what voice can I give him? <sighs> Hi. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Hi. Are you lost? I can give you a lift to the town, but first I need to chill and relax. It's just a pity that I don't. It's just a pity that I did not take my bait with me. Okay, I know I'm gonna. It's so boring here. It'd be great if you found a worm for me. I can't do that since. Oh, wait, wait, what? Can you find me some bait? Um. Okay, I fucked up his, his accent. So. Have you tried looking in this pile of shit that you've left everywhere? Maybe there's a worm in there. Oh, though to be fair, you're more likely to find maggots in this fucking mess that you've left. What fucking glitter, eh? Can I, can I slap him with a glove? Oh, hello. Ew, what is that? It's dripping. Got a worm. Is there anything else here? That's pretty fun. Okay. Well, there's so many different directions we can go in. There are dead bodies in this swamp. There are heads. There's a foot. There's a there's a torso. Okay. I know these are just drawings. But that freaked me the fuck out. Do you know what? That actually reminds me. When I was a kid, there was a movie on TV. I can't remember what movie it was. I've got your worm, but I'll give it to you in a minute. I want to explore a little bit. So I had... So there was this movie that was on TV. Um, I don't know what movie it was. But it had... Um, had that James Bond guy. Is it Piers, Piers Brosnan? Yeah, it was Piers Brosnan. So, there was this movie. Piers Brosnan was in it. No idea what it was. I don't think it was James Bond. But... Um, ooh, there's a car. We found a car. Doesn't look like we can do anything to the car yet. Is there a giant remote control for it? Can I, like, make it crash and kill an actual life-sized person? Oh my god, could you imagine that? Um, yeah, so there's this movie. It had Pierce Brosnan in it. No idea what movie it was. But it was on TV, and I didn't watch the movie, I just saw the scene. It was on, like, in the kitchen or something, and I walked into the kitchen. And he was standing by a swamp side, and he looked into the swamp, and he was with this little kid, like this little girl. And this body, no, just like this torso, floated up from the bottom of the, of the water, floated up to the top, and just, like, bobbed up at the top and revealed itself. And it was like a torso, like, had no arms, had no legs, had no head. And then, like, further down, like, a head would bob up, and then another torso, and then a fully-fledged, like, full bodies started bobbing up to the top, like, without any separate limbs. And then there was, like, a whole bunch of, like, dead bodies just floating around in the water. And the girl was like, ah, oh my god, it's so disgusting! And he was like, oh my god, cover your eyes, the kids shouldn't see this thing. But she was lucky enough to get her eyes covered. I stood there staring at this thing, and I was like, what? The hell! I had night. I had nightmares about that for like at least a few weeks, and it's one of those things that just constantly pops up in my mind. Like it doesn't freak me out as much anymore. Like if I saw it in real life, I would get totally freaked out. But it doesn't freak me out so much anymore. But it was one of those things where you know when you're a kid and you see something weird and it just stays with you and it just doesn't leave you alone, and you get, start to panic and you think, oh my god, what if I can never get this out of my head now? <sighs> Right. Wait. Like, what if I worry about this for, us, for the rest of my life? What if I de like develop some kind of panic disorder? 
Here's your stupid worm. Here's your worm! Oh, dropped it. Oh. <sighs> worm on the hook. I'm taking your fishing rod. Oh. Whoa! It's the worm! Again, from the very, very, very first level. Is the fish gonna come and take it? Oh, it's descending. Okay. Um. Okay. So we're not trying to catch fish. We're trying to catch the thing that's catching fish. Thanks, man. Now I need to get some rest. Hmm. Not before I go in your tent. Hey! What are you doing? Don't go there. Hey! What are you doing? Don't go there. Fuck you. I'll have what I want. Screw you, man. Screw you guys. Ah. Go ahead. So there's something else. Oh. It's always worth going back and checking places you've been before. You're asleep. I'll leave you to it. Uh, okay, sorry. Give me card away. Why can't I do anything? Can I slap the car with my glove? No. Okay. This is so much fun. Let's do this forever. Please. Can I bitch slap him to wake him up? I'm gonna take a letter. Poison recipe. Oh shit. Spiny flower. Okay, so this. Nasty mushroom. So any of these. Rotten fish from the lake. Dirty worm. Fuck, I just gave that prick my worm. Leech. Oh no, I hate leeches. Oh, I don't wanna see leeches in this game. Blood. Okay, there's a lot of blood around. Salt. There's salt in the house. Motor oil. There's motor oil on the floor. Crap! I gave him my worm! I want to make the recipe! Okay. 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 Okay! Now that I've read the recipe, now I can start doing stuff. Let's gather up the- gather up the oil. We need the nasty fish. How am I gonna get a worm? I gave him my worm. Thanks for the help. I'll give you a lift to town after I take some rest. Can I have my worm back? Ooh. Don't know why I need that. That was weird. Sorry, dude. I gave you I gave you something that I didn't realize I actually really needed. Um can I can I can I have it back? Is there any more worms? Maybe another one will pop up. Please, please. Maybe they'll be able to, uh, again with these bodies. I don't want to poke them. Oh no, no. Oh, 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 oh. What happened? Oh god, there's blood everywhere I touch. Oh my god. What is happening? What did I do? Oh, what did I do? I don't like it. I'm not happy that I did it. Now there's blood everywhere I touch. Oh! I got a leech. It was a leech. That is. Oh. Oh, it's a leech. Every time I give it blood. Uh. Whoa. 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 Vampire. Vampire? Is it because I fed the leech loads of blood? I gave it what it wanted? Ew. Oh, that's fucking gross. Ugh. Ugh. Where am I gonna get the worm from? Damn it! I know this is gonna be the one thing that I'm not gonna be able to get. There's mushrooms everywhere, though. Ow. Biatch. 
Alright, so I've poked all of these ones. Poked all of these ones. Oh my god, which one? There's loads. Uh, salt. Oh, I'm gonna dump all the ingredients in the pot, aren't I? Figures. Okay, so if I give the guy the worm, he'll give me a lift back into town. But if I keep the worm, I can make a, I can make a magic potion, uh, a poison. So it's a case of which one do I want to do? Because I really want to make this poison. But at the same time, it's probably a good idea to let this guy take me back to town. But then again, what if he's a bad guy? What if he's gonna, what if he like kills me or something? So what do I use to gather up the blood? I'm also getting super pissed off that I can't pick any of these fucking mushrooms. I've picked all of them. Oh. Oh. Got ye. Got ye. Got ye. Alright. Flower. Mushroom. Fish. Worm. Bleach. Blood. So. Salt. Oil. So. Worm. And mushroom. I'm not gonna be able to get the worm. I gave the guy the worm. Unless. Can I get it off him and he's done? Why can't I pick any of the mushrooms? Oh my god, it's so annoying. I'm getting really frustrated right now. Oh, whoa. What is happening? Why is there oil everywhere? What is going on? Ew, there's oil everywhere. Duh. You don't happen to have a spare worm, do you? No. How long is your rest going to be? Can I have my worm back? I need my worm back. Dude. Dude. Mr. Dude. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Whoa, what did I just... Ooh, I got the worm back. I got the worm back. All right, adding that. Bit. God, the one thing I didn't think I'd be able to get, I got. And the one thing I thought would be super easy to get, I can't fucking get. Oh my God, guys, come on. Now it says nasty mushroom. Is that a clue as to what kind of mushroom I'm supposed to be looking for? Like, am I supposed to be looking for the particularly spotty ones? Or the black ones? Or... I don't know. Big, the particularly big ones? I genuinely don't know. What? Oh, that was the nasty mushroom. So I was right. It was different to all the others. It was special. You know why? Because it didn't look like a fucking mushroom. It was more like a different kind of fungus thing. Is that it? Pretty sure that's everything now. Oh. Poison. What am I going to do with poison? Oh! Oh! Oh, I see. I see. Okay. I'm supposed to poison this guy. Why would I do that? Why would I actually do that? Why? He's gonna drive me home. He's gonna drive me back to town. He hasn't done anything wrong. I have to do it. I have to do it. I need to progress in the game. Here, I have a nice, refreshing concoction of oil, leeches, blood, and worms and stuff. Thanks. Mm mm. Man, this is delicious. That should give me a kick. 
I'm sorry, how did you reclose a can? Oh. What the? Ooh. I don't feel so good. Um. So now that he's distracted, I can go into his tent. Keys! Come on, you're not gonna let me take the torch? That'd be useful in this situation. Alright, cool, whatever. Well, uh, it was good knowing you, dude, but, uh, I'm gonna go now. Because this place is getting gross. Right. Oh! It seems you need a fixed retire. <laughs> Loser! What a prick! Do I still have that crowbar? No, I don't. Fuck! I've only got matches. I can set them on fire. What a douche bucket! What a douche nozzle! Hmm. What can I use to fix it? Why is there even kids running around here? What are kids doing running around in the forest anyway? What am I gonna eat? What am I gonna fix the tire with? Do you have any spare tires? No. Sorry, bro. I, I, I feel bad. Whoa! I took his fishing hook. I took his fishing rod. What am I gonna do with the fishing rod? Okay, I don't have. Oh. I'm supposed to do something to the snail? Well, I don't want to do something. Oh, so. Aww. Poor guy. I'm sorry. I hate putting salt on snails. Sorry, dude. Can I. Really? Really? That would not work in real life. I can guarantee you that now. Putting a bunch of snail juice on a broken tire, on a burst tire, would not work. That is dumb. See any more snails? I don't see any more snails. I don't see that one. Maybe I'm not meant to look for a snail. <gasps> oh, 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 maybe I'm supposed to... No, no. I was thinking like some of the trees had like horrible oozing stuff on them. But maybe... No, no. What do I do now? Where do we go now? I genuinely don't know what to do anymore. As this game always put, likes to put me in this position. Oh yeah, that reminds me. So, the last episode of Bad Dream Coma I did, I think it was the last episode, um, the video got like a warning on it saying, this video has inappropriate content and is not eligible for monetize, um, yeah, monetizing or whatever, which I'm not bothered about. But what really like threw me was the fact that they were like, oh yeah, this has like inappropriate content, so it can't be monetized. I was like, inappropriate content in a point and click adventure of just like just a horror point and click adventure with a couple of I don't get like I know there's a couple of like decapitated drawings but like really demonetized for inappropriate content and I've been trying to think of what it could be that's like that would be like inappropriate I don't swear more than I normally do did I I didn't like use any offensive words did I did I use like offensive words towards certain people did I I don't know did I use the c word too much I have no idea so, if any of you guys can think of a reason why that video might have been offensive, leave a comment below and just let me know what you think it could be, or, you know, let me know if there is anything that did offend you in the video. Because um, I'd like to know. I'm, I'm curious. I, I need to know these things. And I have no idea what could have been the reason for it. Okay, I'm taking my headphones off for a second because, man, they are hurting my ears. Ouch. I haven't worn those headphones just removed. Okay. So. I genuinely. Ooh. 
Hmm. So I'm supposed to do something to this. Oh. 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 What? Great, so there's something else I need to do now, is find something to knock down the beehive with. Fun. Okay, after about 20 minutes, I finally found another piece of goo. Um, I went to the tent, and there was a bit of goo on the floor, so I went there. So, huzzah! So now, can I do something with this? Right. There's something here. Well... What did I get? Could just use- whoa, there's a hand there. Uh, she has a cigarette. Oh, it's on my hands. So I got a wet, soggy cigarette. Thanks. That's gonna be so helpful. Okay. Whoa! Did I just make a beehive grenade? Um, now what? Do I just wait? I'm guessing... Oh. There we go. Yay! Here we go now. Woo! Awesome. Here we go now. Let's get in the car and get the fuck out of here! Let's go. Yay! Awesome. Man, that wasn't as fun. That was not as fun as the, some of the other levels. I mean, what's this one? I unlocked wounds, vampire, and poacher. I don't know what wound. I don't remember getting wounds. That must be from when I picked up the rose and it was like, or maybe it was um, uh, maybe it was the leech. I don't know. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. That is chapter four of Bad Dream Coma. Probably one of the quicker levels uh, out of all the levels we've done so far. I don't think this will take up too much time in the video. I don't think it'll be a uh, 45 minute long video like some of the other ones usually are. Um, but yeah, that was a relatively quick level, um, quite tough. Um, there was a couple of times where I had to go away and look up how to do a couple of things because they were driving me crazy. And they were literally taking me forever to find. And I didn't want to be sitting here for ages trying to find them when I literally finding like one thing would just progress the whole game so I admit I looked up um, how to get the whole beehive thing just because I really was going a little bit crazy with that one um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this thank you guys so much for watching hopefully I'll see you next Saturday let me know what you think about this video um, let me know uh, what I was saying about the whole demonetizing because of the inappropriate content please let me know what you guys think about that what your com comments on that are I'm really curious to know what you think um, for those of you that have watched the Bad Dream Coma series so far let me know what the possibilities are so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye I love not knowing what I'm doing. It is the most fun thing I have ever done.